Hello and welcome to this talk on the Asian School of the Environment. My name is Dr. Natasha Bhatia. I'm a senior lecturer at the Asian School of the Environment. So let's get started. So who are we? Well, at the Asian School of the Environment, or ASE, we're the home of environmental science here at NTU. What that means is that we use scientific reasoning, research and communication to help us try and solve the world's biggest environmental problems. For example, if you're looking at this photo behind me of Merapi Volcano and thinking, what made this volcano erupt? How will the after effects change the plant and animal life in the region? Or even, what will the impacts be on the local communities? Then you might be the perfect candidate for ASE. Uh, we were established as part of NTU's Sustainable Earth Peak of Excellence, an initiative to promote sustainability in education and research. So how do we try and solve these sustainable problems? Well, what we tend to find is that environmental challenges do not always stem from one singular process. A lot of the time, there are many contributing factors. This means that these challenges need to be met using interdisciplinary techniques. This means that we need to look at geography, geoscience, biology, ecology, uh, socioeconomics, uh, even conservation, policy and management uh, to tackle an issue successfully. So for example, the haze in Singapore stems from farmers in Indonesia burning vegetation. But what are their motivations for doing this? Uh, they might be social, uh, why does the vegetation burn this way and cause this ash? Uh, that might be e ecological. We can study the ash to see how it behaves, what alternatives that might be available to offer the farmers to prevent haze in the future. Our single major programme is in environmental earth system science, with three specialisations in geoscience, society in the earth system and ecology and ecosystems. So our core courses that everybody takes provide a strong basis in basic science, communications and computational skills. You'll take introductory courses in the three specialisations, as well as courses in climate change, sustainability and our field experience courses too. We also have emphasis on courses like data science, including MATLAB and R and geographic information systems uh, to help with career prospects. Our specialisations offer depth in your training. Uh, geoscience is the study of the Earth's physical processes, its composition and its structure. Uh, here you'll investigate how topography and rocks at the Earth's surface reflect Earth's processes. Courses uh, such as Earth Materials, Structural Geology and Tectonics and Geomorphology uh, will be the types of courses that will give you this training. Our second specialisation, Society in the Earth System, looks at how society interacts with the environment and how these interactions have changed over time. We try and look for solutions to environmental challenges, as well as how we can try and promote sustainable societies. Courses that you will take in this specialisation uh, promote environmental politics, environmental management, as well as resilient urban systems. Our third specialisation, Ecology and Ecosystems, looks at how and why species interact with their environment, uh, the biological and environmental aspects of life on Earth, uh, including ecosystem functions and also conservation. Courses that are included in this specialisation are tropical ecology, marine ecology, plant and animal physiology, as well as conservation. We also have a double major programme in environmental science and public policy. In this double major programme, you'll take all of the courses that the society students take, as well as a selection from the public policy and global affairs programme, including things like international relations, foreign affairs and political theory. This double major is really aimed at students who want to understand the basic science that goes into the environment and how to apply it in a public policy setting. We also have three second major programmes that ASE students can get involved in. One in data analytics, which is designed to provide the foundation and practical tools for data science, data processing, including things like probability, linear algebra uh, and computation. Our second major in sustainability uh, is designed to meet the increasing demand in Singapore and also around the world for knowledge in how to apply sustainability to different scenarios. And for those students who are more business minded, we have our second major in entrepreneurship designed to help students build your entrepreneurship competency. 
For those students who are interested in the environment, but don't necessarily want to take it as your major, we also have our minor program in environmental sustainability. This program is designed for students from other disciplines uh, so that they can come learn about sustainability and apply their own majors in a sustainable context. One of the highlights of our program for ASE students is our field trip program. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on field-based research and teaching. This, these photos on the slide show our first year field course to Bali. And in your second and third year, you'll also get the opportunity to apply your specialization uh, to specific field trip experiences. So you might be thinking, well, what kind of jobs can I get with a degree in environmental science? Well, I'm happy to report that our current employment rate is 100%. 100% of our graduates from last year all managed to find employment. And you can see that articles from the Straits Times and Today also emphasize the need for students and graduates with this type of skill set. So what kind of jobs do our graduates have? Well, some have got into green collar or geotechnical and environmental consulting positions. Some have gone into the public sector, maybe into a conservation role or looking into policy or maybe environmental management. And some have gone into more corporate facing roles, maybe corporate social responsibility, sustainability or even hazard response. We also have students prioritising their technical training in the financial sector or even in data analytics. So if you want to come to ASE, what qualifications do you need? Well, the most important thing is that you have to have an interest in the environment or the natural world and want to do something about all of these challenges that we're currently facing. A strong background in mathematics, physics, biology, economics, geography or chemistry is preferred. And you have to be willing to apply. We look at all applications and interview all applicants who meet our cutoffs. And why should you choose ASE over any other course? Well, we have a small cohort, we have a selective admissions of about 50 students. And that means that you have a sense of community with everybody that comes to ASE. We have a curriculum focused on independent thinking and technical skill, problem solving and creativity, as well as understanding the hard science behind it. We have a dedicated faculty who only teach environmental science. They're dedicated to your education. We have a lot of field experiences where you get to take what you learn in the classroom and apply it to real world situations. And we also have excellent career prospects. So find out more on our website at ntu.edu.sg forward slash ASE. You can search the hashtag YASE on Instagram and TikTok, uh, or you can email us at ASE underscore undergrad at ntu.edu.sg if you have any questions at all. See you soon.